In this recording, I want to demonstrate how we can annotate horizontal geometry using the active profile. For example, in this case, we have the edge of pavement shown with a radius value shown for the main line and for a side road, just a portion or a quadrant of the intersection. And I have an active profile on there that has a parabolic reverse curve. And I would like to label the elevations at a 15 foot spacing on this particular edge of pavement. To get started, the first thing we would need is a text favorite to use to calculate that elevation. And so I have generated one here using these properties, the open roads plan annotation fields. And I went under the category for point and then the point Z property and I selected my preferences over here under the units format and saved that text favorite then as something called profile elevation. Once that text favorite is established, then you would come over and generate an annotation group under your plan category. And I have made one here under my linear annotation types. And so if I manage that annotation, What I've done is set this to increments at a 15 foot spacing and there's more options than that. You can do, you know, fixed distance or percentage along the element. Um, but in our example, I'm just going to use increments every 15 feet. And so with that set, then I tell it that I want to annotate text and then you can also give it an element template to set the symbology. I put in a leader uh, just to show that you can. You don't have to do that. And then for placement, I just locked in an angle value of 45 degrees and gave it some a little bit of an offset. And then down here, I went ahead and selected my text favorite that we created that profile elevation. And then if you want to set it to view independent, you can. Or if you want it to go ahead and rotate when you rotate view, you can set that to false. So within this information uh, set up in the annotation manager, and then we can go into our feature symbology and so we will expand that and go down to our linear and then pavement and our road edge of pavement we'll go to properties here and in the properties all i have to do then is to the plan annotation group for the edge of pavement i'm going to assign this annotation group that i created called profile elevations and so that's done and then it's just a matter simply of coming to your drawing production and element annotation, annotate element, and then we would select our complex element and then reset then to generate our elevations of our profile based along our edge of pavement in our plan do, 2D plan view.